Up for sale, 1967 Camaro RS SS. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 67 Camaro RS SS, real deal. Finished in a little custom purple with custom black interior. A lot of upgrades to the car performance-wise. And some nice changes style-wise. Um, but of course, you know, go around it, point out everything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. So of course, we'll start in the front. Uh, but before I do, let me just mention a couple things. RS featuring, you know, hideaways. SS featuring the Super Sport hood. 383 stroker. 5-speed TKO 600 trans, and you get a little glimpse there. All custom interior, foos wheels, power four-wheel disc brakes. The front are drilled and slotted rotors, power steering, vintage AC, tubular control arms, 12-volt. Um, I got a big box of paperwork for the car, receipts, manuals, but a lot of receipts, actually. Um, well, there's a lot more things I'm going to mention, of course, as I go around it. But let me start here in the front, on the bumper. Uh, we'll start over here, why not? Just focusing on the bumper first. Nice condition. You see a couple little marks on there. But uh, nice and shiny still. This, this should have been clean. But other than that, this is nice and shiny. Uh, the paint quality is, is super, super nice. Of course, it's been enjoyed. So I will point out any kind of blemishes that I do see here. A couple little stone chips there. And another couple little minor ones right there. You see another one there. Uh, headlights open and close as they should. All the exterior lights do work. Uh, which is fantastic, of course, what you want. Um, we'll make it here on the paint for you and tell you what I was told about it. I was told it was owned and initially restored by a, f a famous drag guy. I, I don't know. I got some paperwork in the trunk about it, which is just, you know, take it as a grain of salt, uh, which is why it's purple, because he was a Mopar guy. Now, one little blemish I'd like to point out is right there on the hood. Um... And then it went to change hands, and that's where they did a lot of the, the upgrades to the car performance-wise. <clears throat> and I apologize for my scratchy throat. And I think I'm coming down with something here. So this here, again, like I mentioned, I will point out anything I do see. Um, but, but the color, really, this is just a unique color. I believe it's a house of colors. I think I have a receipt that says it on there. Uh, candy purple with a K might be the name. <clears throat> we open the hood. Need two hands. There we go. Voila. 383 stroker. Aluminum heads. Vintage AC. Power steering, which is chrome. You see the brake booster master cylinder for the power four wheel disc brakes. Trim tag in place with the proper code for RSSS. Aluminum radiator. Electric fan. Um, you see MSD coil there maybe like an msd distributor yeah it is um you know custom valve covers on there these are nice this is nice clean here a little extra vacuum pump for the power four-wheel disc brakes it has a recent quick fuel carburetor on there i got a picture of the air cleaner with it off uh, polished intake as well firewall clean oh, i just got a glimpse there doug's headers those are actually good headers as well um and you see the tubular control arms if you look there as well as there and looking underneath the car you see those there it also has lakewood shocks on all four corners which i am told are very good shocks uh i have a dyno rated about for just under 500 horsepower like 490 ish in that area um very streetable very enjoyable especially paired to the tko six-speed trans um but anyway we'll go down the side of the car now I mean, look at that color. There's a little mark right there. And I know right there, I'm gonna be very picky, of course, like I always am. Uh, Foos wheels, of course, those are, I don't even know if they make those anymore, but it's just, I, I, I don't I don't know, but don't see those very often. A Couple little marks here, you see, I think this is buffing compound, to be honest with you. Um, but real nice fitment there on the door, down. Uh, another little mark here, must've been gravel road at some point. Because when you get down on the lower lower, you see some stone chips and what like that from, you know, use. There's your Caltrek in the back. Uh, the body molding is nice. Uh, all, the, all the, of course, your trim, all this is new at the time of the restoration. And it still looks like it. Glass is excellent all the way around. No cracks. 
no stone chips on the windshield. Wipers work, of course. I'll let you see the glass here. <sighs> Door looks to line up good again. Another little mark there and a touch up. Um, let me go ahead and show you the top of the car quickly. Through the little bit of dust that's on here. Always nice to see that finished properly. You see a couple other little marks. All right, you see that one? A couple right there. Let me go ahead and we'll open up the door now. <clears throat> I'm trying not to dilly-dally too much. <sighs> nice hem in here. Again, no bondo. As you go up again, nice finish in there. Weather stripping is nice. Now here's the here's the cool factor for this. Custom door panels. Really quality done with like a little like a velvet feeling there. Handles are nice. This is a little custom. You got the proper paint there matching, of course, body color. And here's the bucket seats that I tried to flash before. Um, they're custom, styled like the like the Lux interior would be, and they really don't show too much use. I know you see a little a little crease there, but the condition in general is very nice. Again, with that little bit of uh, suede. I wasn't looking at the phone when I was doing that. Uh, carpet, console, grand steering wheel. Your Vintag is here, of course. Zoom out. Sun Pro Tech was a factory tech as well, but of course using the Sun Pro now. Um, very tasteful gauges down there with the clock that works, by the way. Um, those almost look like, like a like a factory style. I really like that choice because they match those. Um, dash pad, new. Classic auto air for the AC. Uh, vent. It's hard to make out, but it's painted purple there as well. Above there is also painted purple as well. Um, fun to drive, of course. Nice shifter with the made it to the factory console with the, you know, showing all five gears, of course. You see over here a couple little marks on the console, of course, uh, built to be enjoyed. A couple added speakers there for the radio, which again is aftermarket. Nicely put in there with the digital screen. Uh, also has an electronic fuel pump. <clears throat> I did mention the single mono in the back. You see the... Uh, Seat there is super nice. Again, door panel. I'll show you this side from the other side. Um, sail panels look super nice. Headliner is super nice. Visors new. Rear view mirror. Um, I'm trying to think what else. And I even like as far as going to not cut up the back deck and making it look kind of stock. It's the little things. We'll keep moving on down the side of the car. Shuts nice. A little fuzzy here. Take that off. See a little blemish right there. I'll zoom back in. A little blemish right there. You know what? I might refocus my camera after I finish this quarter. You see a couple, you know, little like rock chips down there again, kind of as expected. But anyway, let me pause this. All right. All right. Let me. I think I have the key. I'm supposed to have the key. Oh, there we go, I got the key. Really straight, all the way down. I'll stick this in here for the meantime. <clears throat> Bumper. Super, super, super nice. SS gas cap on it. Little mark right there that you see. And I know there's a little touch up, which I might as well point out, even though you can't see that. <sighs> this is nice, a little crack there, but nice, nice finish. touch up there but nice finish again no oh, we'll pop the trunk here well, I'm also going to show you all the exterior lights work because why not especially because it's got hideaways trunk finished in like a grayish white and a little shiny at that spatter paint might as well show you uh, weather stripping looks to be a pretty new finish in there that you see 
looks to be nice. Looks nice there as well. But anyway, um, this is all manuals, you know, for, for parts that were bought or, you know, what I mean, like booklets, wiring diagram. It's got a specific harness on there. I got to mention that later on. Wiring harness, that is. This folder is all receipts. <clears throat> I took pictures of pretty much everything. I might as well just <sighs> flip through them or big groups. Maybe if something jumps out at me. I have a dyno as well. I know I mentioned that. I took pictures of that too. 1460. I'm sorry, I gotta... We just got that today. Um, 4000. It's an AAW harness. Okay. TPC Global Purple Candy. I was right. Base coat. Of course, base coat solid, medium reducer. Nice to have that as well. Know who, either where you bought it or probably who bought it. $1,400, 1500 $750, $4,100. Oh, that's a, a copy of the other one. $4,500, TKO $600. And just, I'm, I got a big stack of pink ones here. I wasn't even flashing that the whole time. I'm sorry. This and that, that and this. And just receipts, 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 receipts. All, all Ecklers. That was a TPC Global. Is that also related to the paint? And here's your dinos. And uh, supposedly, legendary drag star. That's why I have this. I don't know. It, grain of salt. Anyway, all of this will be included of course and as expected all right let's keep going right yep good two little marks there and again you see a couple you know like you got peppered from stones well bf goodrich tires are also good by the way a little lower profile normally you see them with white letters Same thing here. Some little stone chips on that rocker. And then you see right there. But right here, you see nothing. A little mark right there and a little touch up. I'll open it up first. little larger chip right there again same deal nice hem show you that door panel I showed you that. Looks just like the driver's side. And then I do notice just a little, you kind of see it right there. And then there's a larger one, unfortunately, right there. So I made sure to take a picture of that so you see it. This fitment is nice. There's a little touch up there. and we're going to fire it up now and then drive it. Do the headlights. Brights. Turn signals. Other one. All right. Now to the back. I hate to have the fuel pump running this whole time, so we'll do this quick. Okay, turn signal. Other one. Do the tail lights. All right, do the brakes. 
brakes. Thank you. Put it in reverse. Yep. All right. Fire it up. All right. Give it a go. been a better sounding car. This is top five best sounding cars. No, we're going, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to go left here. Thank you. 